Whole Systems Approach to Community Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 204. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 204, February 19th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and follow our, follow our updates that way and manage your updates that way. With that said, let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the reality lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of reality. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the Fulfilled Living lesson plan. We also completed the second 50% of the mind map for the sharing lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. In addition, the core team continued creation of renders for the Ultimate Classroom. We finished rendering updates for the Indigo Room and started adding missing items and updating textures for the Red Room. Last but not least, Sangam Stanzak, PhD in PE, joined the team and completed cost analysis and hours of additional research for the learning tools and toys component. You can see screenshots of all this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 18th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work was on the Highest Good Food search engine to integrate more edits to the names, add in the Open Source Botanical Gardens page and related pages, and begin working on the Wallapini and Aquapini sections. The one community approach to Highest Good Housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team updated several pages in the Seven Villages online book. We also began reviewing where we left off with the DIY Murphy bed construction instructions. Then we completed final edits to the Tropical Atrium render, now with people doing yoga, and added it to the Earthbag Village and Tropical Atrium pages. Also, after adding trees and sky, we created this final render of the communal eco-shower structure for the Earthbag Village. And this final render of the communal eco-shower structure section view. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her second week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she researched barrel options and eliminated this option based on space needs, came up with multiple reservoir alternatives, confirmed metal sheeting will work for the roof, and began researching water purification alternatives. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his third week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower designs. This week's focus was the design shown here for the central sink piping. 
Adrienne gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her ninth week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. This week's focus was adding pictures and additional edits to create 2.0 of the AutoCAD layers and line weights tutorial, as shown here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his 13th week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development with the 8th week of help from Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student. This week's focus, as shown here, was on the removable compost receptacle attachments and new approaches to emptying and cleaning. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Ka Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 56 of Dean's work, focusing this week on the east side living spaces. This final render of the west side living spaces upstairs view, and this final render of the section view of the west side living spaces looking north. Adding details to Dean's previous work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, added people and nature elements to create these two new views of the Cobb Village roof view looking southeast, and this roof view looking north. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his 13th week of this work, focusing on applying last week's color choices and test rendering each of the different treehouse structures shown here, also this next generation render of the complete village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 31st week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was more updates to the kitchen textures and design testing more lighting strategies for the living spaces. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 16th week of work focusing on updating layers to match the new template and continued development of the details in front of the east wing and inside the left wing, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 27th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was beginning the process of learning how to use the Dialux software to model the city center living dome bathrooms and begin lighting testing. In addition to this, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, helped us create this updated and final render of one of the city center rental rooms. And Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth washing machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 22nd week of behind-the-scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was more content creation and updating the graphics and numbers for water savings. The core team also continued editing and formatting last week's content on the Eco Laundry page on the site. A collage of all of this is shown here. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Shuna Ni, nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was more roof design updates and working on the flange specifics and best lengths for the main column sections to be able to be constructed without any heavy machinery. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, working with the guidance of Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, worked on the energy infrastructure for the city center. This week's work focused on the initial wiring layout shown here. Jin Yu, Structural Engineering Designer, also completed her fifth week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was this behind-the-scenes tutorial explaining the engineering of column spread footings with an example that includes all the calculations of footings that are used as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished another round of developing the new Highest Good Education video. What you see here are a couple different proposed layouts for the lesson plan graphic. Everything one community is doing is creating a whole systems approach to community living. 
Our idea is to make community living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. And it will spread on its own through an evolution of sustainability that takes physical sustainability and combines it with emotional sustainability as an evolution of sustainability that provides a way of living that is better than the way that people are living right now. And our ultimate expression of this is one community as a prototype, a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub designed to help people create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. Once again, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, we hope to see teacher demonstration hubs all over the world working together with one community to create a sustainable planet for everybody. And we believe that in so creating this prototype and doing what we're doing right now, that we can bring together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to create a world that works for everybody. Not two generations from now, not three generations from now, but within our lifetime, positively and permanently impacting the lives and objectively impacting the lives of everybody on this planet and ultimately all living things on this planet because we can regenerate the earth, because we can create a sustainable planet that will last and benefit all of us. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we invite you to get involved. Join our project. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer team who will move to the property and build everything that is one community to consultants and volunteers working behind the scenes to help us open source and free share and finish all the design details that we're working on right now to just helping us share our information on social media. It's one of the easiest ways to help us out and it really does make a big difference. And we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, Facebook, of course. We are on Pinterest and about 15 others to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that we're doing and for people to share all the information that we're creating. So if you'd like to help us out, that's the easiest way. Of course, people ask, well, what's the biggest way that we can help you out? The largest way would be that we are still looking for large-scale funding. It's in our primary focus right now, but we are still seeking large-scale funding to help us get the property off the market that we identified six years ago that we are still focused on. This is the ideal location, we think, for launching one community. And as an all-volunteer uh, nonprofit organization, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, but we're still seeking that large-scale funding as we continue our primary focus, which is on being shovel-ready being ready to build everything as one community, to launch it effectively, working on all the details that are necessary, and walking our talk as we open source and free share everything that we're creating right now. But we're still seeking that large scale funding. So if you or somebody you know has access to that, and you like to see a whole systems approach to community living happen as well, we'd love to speak with you. Like I said, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're all volunteers. We all believe that we can create the world that we know is possible. And we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all. So if that is you and you have the funds or know somebody with the funds that would like to either invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, that is the next great leap for us and would allow us to provide that place, the actual physical location, and allow us to share that so that we can launch our whole system approach to community living and invite people what will ultimately be tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to come and visit to experience what it is that we're doing, to either volunteer and work on the property or to live on the property so that we can share this model globally, work with a global cooperation and collaboration of sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and hubs as well, and show that by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough that the idea and open sourcing all the foundations, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the fulfilled living models, the economic models, as well as the stewardship model, that if we can open source and make all that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, that the idea really will spread on its own. And this is what one community is doing. And this is what we invite you to get involved with. Sounds good? Join us. This is what we're up to. This is our idea of whole systems approach to community living, and we share it every single week in our progress updates. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics about all the open source content, everything that I'm talking about, visit our written blog, visit our website. All the details are there and links to all the specific content that I'm talking about for this week can be seen in this week's blog. There's always links to everything that we're doing. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or join us on social media and follow us that way. And uh, of course, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. None of us are paid for what we do. So those donations help us to cover our operational expenses. They make a big difference in what it is that, that we're creating. 
and uh, thanks for watching till the end. Till next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.